Welcome to one of the greatest Larry Bird stories that you've ever heard. You guys seem to really enjoy the Larry Bird stories that have been brought to you on this channel. Last video did extremely well, so I thought I'd come to you with another one. This time, we are looking at one of Larry Bird's greatest trash talking moments, where he told the Los Angeles Lakers what he was going to do, and then he did it. Bird's ability to back up his trash talk is what made him unique and special, and one of the greatest players to ever play. So in this video, we look at the Los Angeles Lakers legends that were involved on this day, who retell the story on what Larry Bird told them, and then what he did to them. So if you're excited and you're ready for that, please help me out by hitting the like button. These videos do take me a long time to edit and produce. Let's aim for 3,300 likes for the next episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. And sponsors of this channel really help me out. And this video is kindly sponsored by DraftKings. So I'd really appreciate if I could just take a moment of your time. With the basketball season entering its final stage before we hit the playoffs, Teams have been competing and fighting it out since October for their chance at an NBA title. So DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 back in bonus bets if your money line wager of $5 or more wins. You heard that correctly. That's all new customers who bet $5 or more win $150 in bonus bets. And if you were wondering what you could use with $150 in bonus bets, try DraftKings Same Game Parlays where you can combine multiple bets from the same game into one big bet for a shot at an even bigger payout. And if mobile sports betting is not available yet in your state, you can still get on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy where they offer cash prize contests for nearly every sport. So if you're excited for the NBA playoffs and you want to have a bet, be sure to use the code NICKSMITHNBA. That's all new customers who bet $5 or more win $150 in bonus bets. So use the code NICKSMITHNBA and thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Larry Bird. <laughs> Larry could just flat out score. You know, and it's funny because yeah, I, I tell a whole lot of people this when they talk about, you know, great players and they bring up Larry Bird. I said, listen, the dude couldn't jump, wasn't fast, you know, but wasn't athletic. Mm -hmm. But you look on the score, you know, the, the score <laughs> sheet after the game, he got 25, 15 rebounds, nine assists, a few still. I said, the dude just knew how to play. Bird's ball fakes, pump fakes, movement without the ball, running people into picks, that has to be accounted for and why maybe some of those shots were open. People, people look at him and think, yeah, oh, he's a white guy, he's, slow guy. He's a chubby white guy. He wore <laughs> us out, man. You know? Because he just, this was, this muscle here, the one between his ears, Yeah. that was his best, you know, because he, he made the three-pointers and he had assists and rebounded, steals. He was always at the right place at the right time. Mm. It was so much fun playing against him because he talked so much shit. He was chewing people's ears off. It was always this dialogue, and it was just his telling you in your ear what he's going to get ready to do to you, and you, nothing you can do about it, and you can't stop it. We hear all over the years that this guy was a real talker. I, I, I want to avoid the, the phrase trash talker, but he did do some of that, too. What did he say on the court when you guys were having your battles? Things he would say to you would, would stick there. Uh, I mean, if it was just a simple, uh, Oop, I'm where you out this play or uh, face or just the way he said things it made it very face? hard face what is score two points and in, in your say, face in you your know face. he didn't have to go the extra two words in your he just said face and you knew he meant business Larry Bird was one of the biggest trash talkers in basketball yeah Larry could just flat out score and give you numbers and, no, put... and be talking shit and, and a lot of people say really you know they thought it was Reggie or Charles Larry Bird talked more trash on the basketball court than, than anybody I've ever played against. Larry had so much confidence, and he instilled so much confidence in the rest of that group. We had Larry Bird on our team. I mean, like, he's going to carry us to victory even if we can't back up our own trash talk. That's what I'm about to add. I want one. At I got, the same I, time. I got to follow up to that. Like, was Larry really telling you what he was about to do to you before he did? I've heard so many different stories. How, like, what type of trash talk was you was y'all getting from Larry Bird? Well, what do you, what do you hit you? What what what's something oh, simple he man. hit you with? He, he told me two things. One game, you know, our rotations, uh, double teaming Kevin McHale always had to rotate to the corner, and Larry Bird was the one shooting. 
you know. So he shot one, and I mean, I, I'm trying to block this shot, and he, he would just tell me, Scott, you're a little too late. You, you jump high, but you don't jump that high. You can't get this. <laughs> you know, a little too late. But there were times where he would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time. You might have heard this before because he did it with a lot of people. So we playing him. It was 87. Never before in the Larry Bird era, which began in 1980, have the Celtics been an underdog here in the Boston Garden. Yet out in Las Vegas, the Lakers have been installed as a four-point favorite. I would never disrespect the Celtics. Never. Because, you know, when you got Larry Bird, you always got a shot. Now we got the ball to Magic. The Lakers could get the lead. Lob under to Kareem, slam dunk. Magic Johnson's perfect pass. Timeout taken by the Celtics, who fall behind with 29 seconds to play. We go up, so we, okay, okay, we rolling. Like, okay, we about to win this game. I'll give it to the Lakers. It was a gutsy comeback, and they did have the lead. But we still have Larry. You actually weren't in the play. In the last, the last play, I had to guard him. Who do you got to watch? Who do you got to look out for? What's his number? 33. Larry terrified coaches at the end that you could have everything covered, but he could find a way to get open. So coaches were always praying, don't let him catch it, because he'll beat you. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He told you to play. He says uh, to James Worthy. With DJ handling, Robert's going to, Mikael's going to set a flash, a pick for, for Robert. But Robert, that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. In moments like these, Larry was his ice cold best. So cocky, he actually told the Lakers what he was about to do to them. I remember they come back out, and we we're all trying to figure out who's going where. Larry says, guys, guys, listen. And he says, if you trail, I'm going to trail into the lane and shoot a little floater. And he said, if you fucking pop, he said, if you try to get over the top. He said, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, I'm going to pop to that corner. He said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it. And bust a jumper in your fucking face. <laughs> Listen, guys, don't, don't worry about the play. I'm going to go right over here, catch it, and shoot it in y'all face. Ain't a damn thing y'all can do about it. Ain't a damn thing y'all can do about it. And he did it. And he did it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. 29 seconds, the Lakers are up by one. Dennis against Magic. Screen set by Perry. I'm, I'm all up on it. <laughs> You know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. Worthy ripping his jersey off. I mean, he stuck to him like glue. Kareem jumps on a switch to Dennis Johnson. That leaves Magic with Parrish. You know, I'm like, you. You, know I'm like, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I mean, he ain't talking. He ain't going Sure enough, man. I double team DJ. They rotate the ball. Rotate the ball. But I would guard Larry with two referees. You learn little tricks. You learn how to hold and grab so that you're able to stay close. But I'm playing against Larry Bird. He's probably got more tricks than I've ever seen. Knows how to get open, knocks my hands away. The ball comes in, <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick, I'm quick enough. Larry faded to the corner. Dennis looks for Dange, gives it to him, top of the key. Open his hands. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but man crawl right to the corner. Bird breaks free and he pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting, you know. To him, top of the key, over to Bird. Bird goes for three. Shot of three. And who's he shooting over? Michael Thompson, who that would have been called a foul today in today's rules. Michael Thompson hit his arm. When that ball was in the air, my heart stopped. It was like, here comes death. <laughs> Here comes Dennis. Perry's back out to Dennis. Dennis looks for Dange. Gives it to him, top of the key. Over to Bird. Bird's three-pointer and away. Good! Larry Bird with a big three-point bomb has given the Celtics the lead. 
he told us to play. And he hits that three-point shot. That kind of sums it up. <laughs> and Dable. made it. Uh, <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> That's talking if you get back it up. I just couldn't believe that he would tell him exactly what he was doing and do it. Call the shots. Hey, I'm going to do a step back to the baseline. I'm going to turn and shoot, and I'm going to stick it right in your face. Who does that? He was an asshole. <laughs> and you know what? I hate Larry Bird, but I respect the hell out of that man because I went against him in all those championships and during the year. I, I All we did as the Lakers is thought about the Boston Celtics. But that was Larry. I mean, Larry was just, and he, and he was saying in such a calm way that you didn't think it was trash talking, <laughs> but it's trash talking. You, you're not going to tell me you're going to go over there and shoot the ball in my face. That's trash talking. But he, he would tell you before the play even started. He just come out and say, you know, guys, you ain't got to worry. This is where the ball going. I'm going to catch it over here. And, and he would tell you to play and catch it over there and shoot it. The dude would just tell you where he's going, shoot it in your face, talk shit to you, and run back down the floor. Yeah, and he, he was he was just one of those guys that you know he he had he just had it. And I, I remember talking about yeah he talked a whole lot of shit, but I guess it ain't shit talking if you backing, backing it, up. it up. Yeah, I'm just and talking. He was backing it up, right, you know. Right, right. And that was one of the greatest things I loved about him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, he I had it, and I saw it in college, and obviously saw it a whole lot closer <laughs> <laughs> when we get a chance yeah. to play against the Celtics. He was the biggest trash talker back in the day, but he would back it up. <laughs> he was that good. I didn't like him, but he was he was that that's good. When you walk off with that one finger up on your that's way. Finger. See, that's what you want. Because when someone's telling you what they can do and you can't stop it, you know they're a bad they're man. Bad so, man. Yeah. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and you enjoy these NBA videos. And here are two new videos I think you will also enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.